Dawn remake runs worse than the original, Woo! has a lot more bugs and crashes. Let's it go. Also costs sixty dollars for some reason. What did I tell you, people? And before you people say, Gangster, you never said that this game was gonna run poorly. I kind of did because let me explain. Didn't I tell you guys that PlayStation Five has a hard time running? What guys? Unreal Engine Five. Gamesta, what another W. And now we have another example of this with an Until Dawn remake made by Sony themselves. And this game has bugs and issues. No different than Space Marine and how that game performs much better on the Xbox series than it does on your PlayStation 5. You're trying to tell me that now we're starting to realize that Sony is dropping the PS5 Pro maybe to help subside this? This is an Unreal Engine 5 game, guys. Look it up. Therefore, I was one of the first people telling you that the PlayStation 5 can't handle it. Or oh, you just capping. I knew this ever since RoboCop, Rogue City. We tried to tell you this. Your console ain't next generation. It ain't nothing but an upgrade of the PlayStation 4. And like I said, until Dawn Remake just exposed it. Let's go. I cannot recommend... Go back to making 60 FPS Unreal Engine 4 games, Sony, because apparently your console can't handle Unreal Engine 5. At release, it's worse than the original in the current state. Woo! I think part of the reason I'm so annoyed by these constant remakes and remasters... No, you're not. PlayStation specifically has been doing this more than anybody else, which is... Yeah, we know that. I feel like we used to make fun of Nintendo for remastering games over and over again, but... This entire project feels so bizarre because the original game already was just a really Oh, now they're complaining that it's 30 FPS. Game still with another W. Didn't I tell you guys that if a game runs on Unreal Engine 5, more likely the game will be capped at 30. Now you guys can't use that example for Hellblade 2 anymore. This is a last generation game and Sony is still struggling to run this game at 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5. Come on, man. You people was expecting 60. So long GTA 6. All those people saying, oh, that game's got to run 60 frames per second on my PS5 Pro. And it isn't. This is an in-house Sony studio and they threw 30 frames per second in your face on an Unreal Engine 5 game. And look at what you people doing capping for it. Oh, but I thought it was going to be 60. What did I tell you? The only time Sony's achieving that is if they make remasters and remakes to last generation old games. I've told you, I've been saying this for years and for some reason, you people still ain't hearing me. Experience. If anything, it feels like they could have just done a cheap remaster or something. How big was the budget on this? That's what I always think about when I see remakes that are just this identical wow. to the original. Here we go. I what? told you, it's an Unreal Engine 5 game. It's pushing the boundaries. Unreal Engine 5 is specifically made for next generation hardware. This is what I was trying to explain to you. So when you guys said that Hellblade is 30 frames per second, I'm trying to tell you there's a reason for that. And now we have Until Dawn, a remake, which happens to be from PS4, but I did see the graphics. They do look like they made some differences. Or should I say, they? they this game in particular particular looks like they did build it from the ground up even though it is the same game but it's still capped at 30 fps what are you people are gonna say now what are you gonna say now oh xbox all they do is make 30 frames per second games when sony did the same exact thing i told you that this was a i told you guys that this was going to bite you in your behind but hey nobody wanted to listen to me then it's okay game still what another w Watching streamers try to play the Intel Dawn remake is incredible. Just an endless stream of why is the 30 FPS? The original was 60. And it no, it wasn't. A- oh, no, 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 no. You capping, bro. The original wasn't 60. The original was 30. The game is 60 if you played the PS4 version through the PS5. That is 60. You, you, you PlayStation fanboys don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Until Dawn on the PS4, the original one ran at 30 frames per second. It's only 60 if you take the PS4 copy and put it through your PS5. Then at that point, it is 60 FPS. How do you people not know this, bro? PS4 did not have 60 FPS games. Every exclusive that they had was capped at 30 FPS. Game still what another W, bro. I'm getting Ws all over this place. I have to redo that whole section. Garbage. How do you even make Unreal Engine 5 
break that bet. Now, I have heard that UE5 is a really... It seems like Lance been playing too many PS4 games. How many times we got to explain to you this, Lance? Of course it's easy to achieve 60 FPS on a PS4 last generation game. And before you people say, well, Gamester, this is a PS4 game, technically speaking. Yes, but it's running through Unreal Engine 5, you big dummies. <laughs> man, you know what, man? You just can't explain nothing to these ponies, bro. You guys are on a severe case of pony dust, and there's just no stopping you. Like, it's there's no stopping you. Good engine that's really easy to work with, and it's very optimized. So whenever you see a game... Uh, matches, Unreal Engine 5 is not optimized because a lot of people haven't been using it yet. What? Bro. How many W's do y'all want to give me for this video? Please make sure you guys like and share this around, bro, because I got about 20 W's already. I haven't even finished the video, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Most companies haven't even used Unreal Engine 5 yet, besides a few examples. Just constantly on Unreal 5. It's uh, it's impressively bad. Now, I was actually looking at a lot of the comments. But you just Okay, uh, well, you did, just said it was, okay, you know what? Let's see, Susie Hunter here. I'm not even going to counter that. I'm not even going to counter that. does this even exist? But I did also notice this, which is that people are saying the game runs at 60 F now. And this is a good point that I actually... You know what's so funny? Because Dreamcast guy, you call yourself a real gamer, right? But yet you're not calling Cap out of all the stuff that you're seeing here, man. You just kind of keep going with it. So that just goes as far to tell me, did you even play the original game? The original game was 30 FPS. And I forgot about. This is one of the guys that works at Digital Foundry, which is that... Yeah, look! On PS5. Sure. Thank you, John Linneman. Thank you, GameStop. What another W. On PS5, sure. But the original release was often, like 20 frames per second, and wildly unstable. How come you ponies didn't talk about then? How come you didn't talk about that game then? I thought you guys was playing 60 throughout the throughout PlayStation's history. We try to explain this to you guys. The only time these companies are hitting 60 is on rehashes, remasters, and remakes, bro. I mean, not all of them, because according to Until Dawn, that's still capped at 30. But still, it's being pushed with the Unreal Engine 5 engine in mind, which is capable, What, which is, I should say, made for next generation platforms. The original version ran at about 20, 25 FPS. If now, why would you need John Lindemann to explain that? Now, I thought it was 30, but dang, 20 FPS? I mean, we're going back to N64 titles, guys. Playing it on a stand. And did people complain back then? No, you still enjoyed the game. Exactly. So what's up with all these narratives that you guys have towards Xbox in regards to 30 FPS games when y'all was playing games at 20 FPS on PlayStation? PlayStation 4 okay. ran a bit better on a Pro, and now if you play the original version on a PlayStation 5, it's a rock-solid 60 FPS. Now, a lot of people are also pointing out the fact that the original version is not just dirt cheap. Like It's also on PlayStation Plus, so paying $60 is so bizarre. They should have done like a $10 <laughs> it's on PlayStation Plus. or something. <laughs> I hate when they call a game that everybody's pointing out the fact that the graphics are barely better. These kind of remakes and remasters are annoying to me because even if you do want to say, okay, they put in their hard work, they redesigned how the faces look, they redesigned a lot of the character models. See, this is what you people don't understand, man. I know PC gaming is laughing at y'all, man. The PC gaming community, they're like, yo, we try to tell you guys, man, like I said, PlayStation 5 seems to be struggling on Unreal Engine 5 games. Unreal Engine 5 games happen to run better on Xbox, something that you people don't want to bring up. And on top of that, Space Marine, for example, I mean, look on Until Dawn, a game that's owned by Sony, it can't even run at 60. So where's the narrative now? So clearly that narrative doesn't apply anymore. And the only time that it does, uh, does apply when it's Forbidden West or it's some PS4 last generation console. We told you this, bro. We told you guys this already. Sony is not pushing the boundaries of next generation gaming because the day they decide to do it, you're getting games capped at 30 yet again. All this talk about Gotham Knights. Y'all remember this? Two or three. Oh, Gotham Knights. This game could have been. And that was open world. That was an open world game. Open world games tend to be on the 30 frames per second spectrum unless they're like a last generation game. I mean, it took GTA 5 to get to the Xbox Series S and X to get 60 FPS. You know what I mean? And that's a 360 PS3 game. So you can only imagine. Now we got Until Dawn Remake. 
That game's at 30, has bugs, issues, crashes, and problems. Priced at $60. And you PlayStation fanboys have been doing nothing but capping. Talk about, oh, let me guess. It's Xbox's fault for this, right? Xbox is not helping push Sony to put out games the way they're supposed to. See, this is why the Pro exists. The Pro exists because of problems like this. The Pro exists so the PS5 Pro can have an easier time running Unreal Engine 5 games. That it is what it is. The PS5 is underpowered. It's always been underpowered. And the Series X has always been a more powerful console. On paper, it is. That's why we're not having these same issues with games like First Ascended. You know, games that are actually running on more demanding gaming engines. That's why when you when you ponies want to bring up PS4, oh, we got we got this game running at 60. We got Last of Us Remastered, Last of Us Remake, Uncharted Legacy, PS4 game running at 60 FPS. All we can do is laugh at you. That's all we can do. Because what's even more funny about that, Microsoft has that with their own titles, but yet you people don't bring that up. You don't bring it up with Halo Infinite. You don't bring it up with Gears of War. If you want to talk about old games running at 60, I could do the same thing for Xbox and Microsoft. But we ain't going to go to that degree because, to be honest with you, we personally don't care that much. We just want some quality games. Until Dawn, instead of outright remaking it on a completely new engine, because this new pause screen just so you would have preferred for them to do a a less job and then still pay him the sixty dollars, bruh. Y'all just capping, bro. Game still with another dub. Y'all don't got no argument with this. So you would prefer for them to have the same exact game and still price the game at sixty dollars. I would kind of prefer what they did with the Unreal Engine Five because at least I could say they took and push the boundaries of that gaming engine and try to try, try to utilize it with this game. I would prefer that, but the only problem is is the bugs, issues, and crashes. That's something that you can't fix, which also essentially means that this disc that you purchase is nothing but a paperweight because it's trash and it doesn't work properly unless you do what, guys? Update it. Let's go. And you guys want to still have faith in physical media. <laughs> what a joke. Worse, the lack Let's of go. many blue colors is so bizarre. Why does her hair look so big and unnatural in the remake as well? It all comes down to personal taste, but I think I'm going to call this video Do Not Buy the Until Dawn Remake because I honestly do think it's... Now the question is, are you, are you not going to buy it yourself? Not as good as it could have been. I know this uh, very viral tweet here refers to it as a scam, I think, uh, but it... Uh, It's the kind of thing where I feel like when it comes to video games, I'm more and more getting into the idea of stuff that's different, even if it is worse. Somebody pointed out the fact that... Yeah, but how bad can a game be when it has that massive amount of bugs and crashes? You know, especially crashes. I mean, bugs to a certain degree, we can laugh. Oh, that's kind of funny. But crashes where you're playing the game and it just crashes on you? Sometimes I'll give a game that's like a 7 out of 10. I'll have more fun with it than other... viewers and stuff. Well, which is kind of funny because you gave Starfield a 7 out of 10, and you're probably enjoying that game more on your PC than these PlayStation exclusives that you're giving 9 and 10s. Yeah, I think I'm coming up to this part of my you life. You just showed how biased you are, bro, because if that, according to your logic, that means Starfield's better than the games that you're playing because you gave that game a 7. Where even if somebody makes a game that is bad or weird or whatever like that, I think I'm beginning to appreciate what's... Yeah, we could tell because weren't you playing that Shattered DLC from Starfield? And you said you enjoyed it. Like I said, man, stop the Xbox propaganda and stop the hate, bruh. That, that, that's all it is, bro. You guys love Xbox games. Y'all don't love Sony titles. Because if you did, you wouldn't be talking about Xbox as much as y'all do. It really swings for the fences. When someone tries to do something that is just so bold and so... Doing a remake <laughs> to a PS4 game is a bolt, Bruh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. Like, I can say something, but I just prefer to laugh. You know, Sony, you know, they they rather do the bold and courageous move by, by remastering a PS4 game that's already widely available on PS4 for $20 that's also being offered by PlayStation. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't. It's so weird that even if they fail... At least they ended up outside the typical experience. How is this outside the typical experience if it's the same exact game? It's a remake. It's so funny that you say that, but Xbox is the one doing that. Xbox is the one taking chances. Xbox is the one pushing out different type of games. Gears E Day, Perfect Dark, South of Midnight. They're the ones doing that. How you giving credit, right, to Sony for this, 
But y'all were bashing Redfield. Oh, you didn't sit there and say, oh, I respect that Microsoft tried to have Arkin Studios do something that they never did before. And I'm happy that they made that failure and it, they tried. But only when it's Sony, only when it's PlayStation, we hear this type of logic. The constant remakes, the constant remasters that are lazy more than anything else Tell them. are beginning to genuinely piss me off. That that Uh-huh. That's Gamester with another W. You can't cap for it anymore. We told you guys. Y'all can't cap for this anymore, bro. It's official. It's over. Which we tried to tell you this, but all you guys would do is call us Xbox haters. Give me remakes in the vein of what Silent Hill 2 did or what... Resident Evil is doing. Give me stuff that actually feels not just respectful to the original source material, but builds upon it to make something new. All right, these are just some off the cuff thoughts. Uh huh. Like I said, man, we keep winning, man. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to Gamesters channel for the real truth and awareness about what's really going on here, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video, man. And like I said, we got ponies in distress right now.